welcome back again. I'm still at the Vogue showroom. So many bikes here to bring to you guys today. And we're going to look at another interesting bike right now. Here again, we have the Vogue CU525 motorcycle. And it kind of looks like the Triumph Bobber, if you're familiar with that bike. And I'll just start from the front department, as I always do. And you can see it's a very uh, open concept bike. And I like the design of the headlights and the turn signals. Looks like a C uh, on both sides. And you have LEDs as usual. And I believe these are daytime running lights right here. And you have three separate LEDs in the middle. I believe they have the beam out low and high lights. And you have very thick tires in the front uh, like most roasters and what you have here is a single disc brake in the front with ABS also coming with JJ1 brake um, calipers and you have your two front forks um, reflectors so that's very standard it looks like a twin so you have your double exhaust coming out from here and you have your radiator also protected by this plastic thing maybe not the best but considering the environments in which you'll be riding this bike plastic should be adequate and uh, moving on to the side so this is the front side of the bike you have very nice solid looking brake rear brake lever and you have your tank designed quite nicely in this green i would call it color and you have your engine bay right here your foot peg right here tucked away for transport and you have your engine block it's a 500 cc motorcycle so it doesn't look too too big but then again the bike doesn't look too big and heavy so i believe a 500 cc engine would do and you have your double exhaust outlet right here nicely designed i believe it's in-house so it has vogue branding on it very solid feeling sorry for the shaking camera and like i said before these angles are tight because the bikes are closely packed together so right here you have your rear brake pardon me for the noise guys you have your rear brake fluid and you have your lx 500-3a right here and you have your passenger seat and your rider seat very low bike at that and if you look at your rear brakes right behind the rear pillion nicely designed kind of like a t or the tesla sign and then your number plate goes way below your number plate is actually on the rear mud guard very very low out there and you have your turn signals as well so this is what the rear of the bike looks like it looks really really good and on the rear you have again a single disc and a single brake caliper i don't know why it's wobbling but yeah it's supposed to wobble anyways <clears throat> for free play for braking so this is the right side of a bike rear disc abs a standard double springs one on this side one on the other side and overall the bike looks really really nice let's go to the front before we come back to the rear so you have your driving mirrors circular and it's cable driven so yeah and you have your hazard lights um, ignition um, power on and off brake fluid and on the left side very standard controls nothing really extraordinary pass light high beam low beam and then you have i believe this button is for some sort of setting right so there's no power i can't show you what the screen looks like and yeah this is the overall front design nothing really so beyond the dash you don't see anything else while you're sitting on the bike and if you have to turn control the ignition you have to reach all the way across the um, 
the dash, which is kind of weird, but yeah, that's the design. And bikes like this usually have sim these kind of designs. So this is what you're getting. Very, very low seat for any seat height, for any person of any height. And very tight angle here, guys. So yeah, if you look carefully, you will see the spring here, um, the left spring. And it's also um, belt drive. So it's not a chain drive, it's belt drive. And some of these bikes have, I don't know about these belt drives, but anyone who has experience with belt drives, let us know. Is it better than a chain? How does it feel when riding? And what is the maintenance like? And what is the replacement cycle like? Let us know in the comment section. So on the left side, you have your engine bay. You have no center stand, but you have a side stand. And you have a foot peg for the rear passenger. Feels really good, very tactile, and feels solid as well. It's not one of those cheap aluminums. And if you go to the engine bay, that is it. The tubes uh, have been nicely covered. And uh, yeah, it looks like the gear selector has not been installed yet. So you have the gear um, connection there and you have weight bolted on down there. It's not been connected yet. Obviously when you buy the bike, all that will be done for you. I believe this is taken out for transportation purposes and you, you get your horn right there so overall a really neat looking bike and I'm not um, the kind of person who is interested in these kind of bikes but I know there are people out there who enjoy these designs so if you are in that category this is for you all right guys so thank you so much for coming along I hope you found value in this video and for those who are interested in this kind of bike there you have it Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm truly grateful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Until I see you in the next video, guys, ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.